Okay, here we are in section 1.1, solutions to numbers 1 through 6. So we're going to do the number 30. Now it says to find the factor, so we're not doing the prime factorization, we're just writing down everything that can go into it. That's 1 times 30. I'll write it like this, it'll be a little bit easier. 2 times 15, 3 times 10, let me see, does 4 go into 30? Nope, not quite. 5 goes into 30 6 times. So there we have them, 1, 2, 3, 5. 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. That's the list of factors. Okay, let's try the next one. Number 2, 150. So that's going to be 1 and 150. 2 goes into it 75 times. 3 goes into 15, so 550. 4 doesn't quite do it. 5 will go into it 30 times. 6 will go into it 25 times. Let me see, does 7 go into it? No, not quite. 8, nope. 9, no, 10 will. 10 will go into it um, 15 times. 11, 12, 13, 14, so it looks like that's our list right there. One, two, three, five, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, fifty, seventy-five, and one fifty. There we go. Okay, number three, thirty-seven. Uh thirty-seven, look the one and thirty-seven. We're done. There's nothing else can go into that. That one's prime. Okay, number four. Let's do 12. Um, that's 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. And I'll let you write those out, but those are the numbers. Number five, 75. That's 1 and 75. Does 2 go into that? No, it's not an even number, but 3 goes into it 25 times. Uh, 3 quarters, 75 cents. Let me see, 4. 5 goes into it. Ooh, how many times does 5 go into 75? Mm, looks like about 15. Um, 6? Nope. 7? Nope. I think we're good. And the last one, 81. We have 1 and 81. 2. Nope. 2 doesn't go into it. 3. Uh, 3 into that one. Yeah, I think it'll go. Take 3 into 81, and you get 27, and 9, and 9. So those are all the factors of 81. Okay, there we go.